never had a boyfriend. Girls think he's straight. I'm sorry, that pose? <laughs> Girls think he's straight? Claim to be an exorcist. Sorry, your ex was an exorcist? Nexorcist? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. Hello and welcome back to Reality First, a series where I watch reality shows I've never seen before for the first time. Lately, I've been throwing it back a little bit and doing some classic MTV shows like Jersey Shore. I just did My Super Sweet 16. And there's one that I feel like always makes the rounds on TikTok, which is called Next. Basically, all I know about it is it seems like it's something kind of like tender in real life where they either get to say like yes or no. I'm not exactly sure how all of it works, but I do know there was one episode filmed that was a gay episode. And I think we have to do that one. So this is season two, episode 20 of MTV's Next. Let's get started. I'm 21 and I'm an artistic, fun-loving gay man. Gay man. I work as an instructional assistant for autistic kids. So oh, that's nice. So is very close to my heart. Oh my gosh, this outfit with I the love pop to sing collar. It's so much fun. I haven't found the right guy yet. Believe me, I've tried quite a few of them out. The next bus is pulling in with five different guys. I can't wait to see which one I'm gonna pull out. Okay, so basically I think he is the like bachelor. So he is our main guy and he gets to choose from five guys that are gonna come in on a bus, I guess. Um, first impressions, this is such a sign of the times. This is, I believe, 2006. It's kind of sad because I think at the time they were kind of like tokenizing the gays and they definitely pick somebody who is like stereotypical, I would say, or they just like made him act like that. But I mean, at least there's representation in 2006, I guess. Oh, <laughs> hanging up the down. The daters, here we go. Speed round. I'm Alex, I'm 18, and this guy won't say next when he sees my package. Who can show my Carlos, oh. I'm 20, and beware boys, my ass is fabulous. <laughs> I'm Christopher, I'm 19, and I'm gonna win because I've got a like a giant sequoia. <laughs> they just forced them to be like very stereotypical and very sexual. I'm Jeff, I'm 18, and this guy's gonna pick me because I'm as crazy as my hair is. Woo! I'm Keith, I'm 20, and guys love me because I look corruptible. I look corruptible, not the long sleeve t-shirt underneath the polo. Oh my god. are on the launch pad. Evan wants to shoot the moon. It's time for liftoff on the next bus. So what kind of guys are you guys into? Good looking. So what kind of guys are you guys into? Good looking. Yeah, like, like him. Oh, thank you. Oh. I'll leave you two alone. <laughs> two of them already want to date each other, maybe. If he's hot, I'll definitely take the second date. If he's ugly, I'm sorry. I'm going to buy myself a new pair of jeans. <laughs> Seriously. With one dollar. <laughs> Oh. They win? Up first and ready I'm not quite sure if they win prize money. They're talking a little bit about money, but I'm just not sure. The tick of the ivory. He wants to strike a chord, but there are four other pianists hoping he'll be playing in the key of next. <laughs> they just keep putting these little puns in there. Also, this is very quick editing. I think this is only like a 12 minute episode. Looks like one first, guys. So this guy better be cute and he better be packing. Uh -oh. All right, don't Has a twin brother, collects fortune cookies, idolizes Whitney Houston. Okay. Hi, I'm Evan. Alex. You have a really weak handshake, so I have to stay next. Oh, it's that fast. You're really ugly, and it's your loss, bitch. Whatever, you're the loser here. So if you lose, if they say next, you get a dollar, I guess. One minute, one dollar. Maybe I'll buy Evan some Rogaine. Alex's handshake felt like a limp. Maybe oh the gosh, boys on the bus can savage. find a way to help Alex strengthen his grip. Carlos is up next. Whoa, what happened? Dude, what happened? You just left. Yeah, he nexted me because I was limp. Carlos, you're next. Guys, don't expect me back. Go, Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> Work it. I think Carlos is just looking for some ass anyways. Oh, come on, he screams. <laughs> <laughs> With this ass, I'll definitely last longer than a minute. Uh. Okay, Carlos, studying architecture. Never had a boyfriend. Girls think he's straight. I'm sorry, that pose? <laughs> Girls think he's straight? Sorry, Alex. Hi, 
I'm Evan. I guess they get a um, dollar per minute. Me. How are you doing? Doing okay. How about yourself? Very good. I like to dance, and I like all types of dance. And we have some African dancers over here ready to show us some steps. Would you like to try? What? It? Sure. Let's go. <laughs> okay. I guess he didn't get next to it immediately. The show is so strange. Okay, for only being a 12 minute episode, they're spending a long time on this. Well, that was fun. Would you like to go on the next part of the date? Sure, I'll left. Okay, he's made it 18 minutes. He made it onto the next van. I work with autistic children. Oh, okay. And, and help them, you know, just function throughout the day and, and learn basic functional skills. And That's definitely cool. It shows that you also have a caring side and down to earth. You're not shallow nor stuck up. Oh. Are you out to your family? Just not friends, out and north of kind of and not really. Like I'm out to my friends and part of my family knows except my mom and dad. Ooh. I'm a big family person and it's important to me that, that whoever I'm with be open and honest with their family because I not only want to be accepted by them, but by their family as well, so that there's no awkward. Yeah, that's really so hard. So I have to tell you next. Oh. oh my gosh. They are savage okay, on the it's show. Your loss. Okay, he made 29 bucks. Evan, you're so ugly, I didn't even want you to meet my family anyway. Well, I guess Carlos is out now, out of this van, and out of my life. Okay, you definitely, you went on a second date with him and then you're gonna call him ugly afterward? I don't think so. I think you're just butthurt. Wouldn't shout, I'm here, I'm queer. He can go and shed a tear on the next bus. Christopher's up next. Uh, long time to see. Long time. How'd it go? Apparently, guys, I wasn't out enough for that hairy bitch, but Chris, baby, you're up next. Watch me pimp this bitch. I'll get him back yeah. for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's hairy, and I hate hairy. Like Chewbacca, he was hairy. <laughs> That's not true. I don't know what he would say about me. <laughs> Wait, terrified of food poisoning, okay? Enjoys hanging out in his Speedo. Waxed a man's hairy back. These are the most random cards I've ever seen. I'm Chris. I'm Evan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So what do you do? I work at a resort in San Clemente, timeshare resort. Do you do anything that benefits the world? No, not really, actually. I mean, I fight for dolphins and stuff like that through the internet, donate money and stuff. Yeah, we've got to save those dolphins. Yeah, no dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> he said, do you, need to, do you do anything to, like, better the world? And he said, not really. I like dolphins. <laughs> I'm a strict vegetarian. Okay. And I love trying oh, new places. Vegetarian. This place, Leaf, is all raw food. Okay. And um, strictly vegan. And so, would you like to try it? Yeah, let's go for it. There we go. What was your last the episode? The episode is so grainy because it's from 2006. I literally can't even tell what they're eating. Relationship life. Um, my last relationship, Lord. Had a wonderful body, excellent looks, but just mentally he wasn't stable to me. Claimed to be an exorcist. That's a little interesting. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of freaky, actually. Kind of freaky, actually. Does Christopher possess the right stuff? Or will Evan like, spell him back? Sorry, your ex was an exorcist? Nexorcist? All right, so what's the raunchiest thing you've ever done? I had a party at my house once. There was this girl, and she was really hot. She's like, you're not gay, you're not gay, you're not gay. I was like, yes, I'm just like, well, I wanna f you so bad. And she like pulls me and takes me into my room. We're going at it, and one of my friends comes in and he starts undressing himself, so he kind of joins. That's really sexy. <laughs> <laughs> I do kind of like that they get to talk on the bus like amongst themselves. It kind of reminds me this of um, Cody Ko reacting to, uh, I don't know who makes it, the cut, I think. Um, it reminds me of that in that they're like talking backstage about the person they're about to go on a date with. It's very quick. I see that they got some inspiration from this, I feel like. <laughs> what about you? Do you work out a lot or? Every morning I run the beach and I also strip at Club Thrust, so. Mm. I don't think I'm that's around anymore. There, but um, they tell me to get up there and do it. I'm a little bit uncomfortable with the whole stripping thing. I knew you definitely not my scene. So I'm really sorry, but I have to stay next. Don't be approved. Better luck next time. Get a pedicure, buddy. Evan, it's always nice to be a closed-minded game. Oh my gosh. I like how he just said it right to his face. 
All the other people like said their little reads like after the fact. He was like, I was waiting for this. You need to lighten up a little. I'm looking for a private dancer, not a man whore. Evan the vegan didn't want oh, to This shit was crazy. Fire. Jeff's up next. Yeah. Two down, three down, Gotta two to go. go. Well, he next to me because I strip, but Jeff, you're up next, so good luck, bud. All right, boys, let's see how much money I can get out of this Chewbacca. <laughs> yeah. They're all just like hating on him. I don't. I wouldn't want to be the one that he chooses. Promotes the club, worships Gwen Stefani, wears girl jeans. How you doing? Hello, He's 18. My name's Jeff. Evan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. People are really How's young. It going? It's going pretty well. So what do you do? I work at a Christian camp. Okay. I like tutor children and do drama productions. So what do you do? Um, I'm 18. I live with my parents. What do you expect? Uh, okay. So are you really into religion? Yeah, I'm really into religion. I want to continue at like my Christian university at Vanguard. It's something I really believe in. Now, how do you feel about like the whole um, gays going to hell? God forgives mm -hmm. people for their sins. Mm -hmm. Being gay, they say, is a sin. Mm -hmm. Stealing is a sin. God forgives people for stealing. God forgives people for being gay. I think personally that, that being gay is, is not a choice. It's not something that, that all of a sudden I decided that I was going to be gay. And so it's hard for me to believe that it's a sin. And because you believe that, I really have to say next. I, I agree. To be gay, I have to. You misunderstood me. I have to say I'll tell the people on the bus, Chewbacca said, hey. Evan, here's the real sin. A cute guy like me giving you the time of day. God may forgive you for being gay, but no one is going to forgive you for that haircut. I knew that's what he was going to say. I knew that's what he was going to say. Damn, they are savage with these reads. Looks like a Wookiee, but he's the one who will get no nookie. He looks he's like a Wookiee. <laughs> Even that girl's reading his hair. How'd it go? All right, you guys. Evan nexted me because of my religious beliefs. Keith, you're up. Can you believe it? Someone nexted me for my religious beliefs. A major important thing about my life that's different than theirs. Next. Hopefully this guy's not as bad as everyone says he is. <laughs> Woo! Go get him, dude. You'll get it. This makes me wonder, okay, they're on the fifth guy, so it makes me wonder if, like, in the um, other, like, the straight episodes, or, like, in, in any of the episodes, I wonder if like there's ever been a time where it's just like the first person they say yes to, I mean like they go on all the dates, they say yes, and then that's it. Or if it kind of like always gets down to like the fourth or fifth guy. Just curious if I keep watching this show, which at this point I might because it's crazy. Keith, <laughs> 20, owns 26 pairs of designer jeans, loves breakfast at Tiffany's, afraid of bargain shoppers. Hello. Hi, how you doing? I'm Evan. Keith, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Are well, you ready to head on on our next activity? Definitely, let's go. Perfect. They're not good actors. Like, they were clearly told to say Hi. these different scripts. Are you ready to head out on our next activity? Let's get a move on. I am currently a student of cosmetology. You're in hair and work as an assistant at a salon. I went to cosmetology school for a little while in New York. They love the flip-flops and jeans. Mark. What type of relationships do you normally have? Some steady relationships, like eight, nine months, and I've had a long one, like a year and a half, so. Oh, nice. Eight, yeah. nine months I and a year and a half is more not long-term relationships. I, I'm not uh, a serial dater or anything. Yeah. But he also is only- You're welcome. Well, I'm glad to hear that you went to cosmetology school. Um, that's something that we have in common. So we're gonna go play with some hair and, and makeup and have a good time. Great. Chris, you're a dancer. You need to show me your moves. All right. Yeah, let's see your moves. Come on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm ready for that. What we have here, I'm going to make mine into a diva drag queen. What's your cosmetology school like? It's really nice. It, it's a lot of old women coming in for wet sets, pretty much. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Their hair did. <laughs> Their hair did. I feel like they like each other. It kind of reminds me of like a bad 80s prom. Yeah. You cut off quite a bit of hair here. Good haircut. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't believe either of them went to cosmetology school. <laughs> I saw that. Okay, 42 minutes. He's lasted the longest. Let's see if he will win. I've had a wonderful time hanging out with you. I think uh, you're a really great guy. And you've been on the date with me for 43 minutes. And you have a choice to either take the $43 or you can go on a second date with me. It's up to you. What will he do? I do more 
long-term relationships. I'm glad to hear that you went to cosmetology school. Two queens are good in poker, but they're not good in a relationship. I'm gonna have to take the money and go back to the bus. Ooh. Not quite as much fun when the tables have turned. I guess my search continues. Okay, I guess he said two queens. You can deduce from there. <laughs> It was a really good date. We were on it for 43 minutes, but I just couldn't do it. We're too much alike, so I took the money. Oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh well, I guess all's fair in love and next. Hey, Evan, thanks, thanks for the money. money. See you later, Chewbacca. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, that was really actually so crazy how much they read him. I'm like, did any of them like him at all? Because at the very end, they just all called him Chewbacca, like in unison. I'm sure the producers had something to do with that too, but still. Okay, I actually really enjoyed that show. It definitely reminds me of like some YouTube shows that I watch and it does, I do think it kind of like paved the way a little bit maybe for some of these really fast paced edited game shows that are on YouTube that are only like 10 to 20 minutes long. Honestly, I would give that episode a four out of five dollars. I don't think that it's necessarily something that I would like put on to watch as a TV show, but I could see myself looking up old reruns of it, um, like best episodes on YouTube in the future. If you enjoyed this episode of Reality First, definitely subscribe to the channel and like the video and let me know in the comments which reality shows you wanna see me react to next.